that occurred and had been tried to explain in what's called a watershed. Everything in that area drains to the lake. It's going to get into the lake. You can't stop it. Beaver dams only stop the oil on the surface, the salt, and the other materials that are dissolved are going to go right through and they're going to end up in the lake. You know, it's an obvious thing. You can't, you can't, you, nobody can do this unless they stop that a watershed and seal off that uh, outlet. When they had a newspaper article on this, the first thing they said was pH is normal. And then they went to talk about it. Well, that's one parameter. It's the salinity. Mm -hmm. Bakken oil is 10 to 20 percent salty. It has, if you have water or oil, whatever liquid you have, 10 percent of it is salt, 20 percent. That's high amount of salt. And that's a good indicator. You don't need to take all kinds of you, you, you should follow up with all the other tests to see if organics are there and all the other things in the water. But if you know the saltiness, you've got it. Nothing else is that salty. And uh, samples were available uh, in these water areas where these beavers were and these dammed areas, and they took samples. Even the college students took samples. It's not a hard thing to do. And that salt water is going to go right through those dams down into the lake. It's probably going there right now. You can't stop it. The percentage is high. I've, there is somebody uh, working on this. Uh, we had a meeting at the DRC. I usually don't go to the DRC Code Resource Council meeting. That's where Josh Fox was at, and Edmund was there, and Vance Gillette, who is a lawyer for the Save Our Aboriginal Resources, was at and he was showing pictures of the body of water where he collected samples. Those samples are salty. I tested them. I, just today, before I came down, I didn't have a chance to tell my cousins here, or Angeletta, but it's bad, and it's contaminating. What do we have? When you look at the map of the place that was contaminated, it's tribal land, and the other land that's associated with it is Old Dog. That's my grandfather, great-grandfather, Old Dog land. And Morset land, uh, this was put on Facebook. So we can communicate with each other and we know what's happening. Now, there should be outrage. Where is it? Nobody should stop us. We're a tribe, we can stand up. As if Edmund said that the federal government was told to step aside, well, the tribe doesn't have to step aside. This is our time right now. These guys kind of agree with each other. They don't like to see environmental problems. Marty will, will stand up. He'll do anything. If it, the time comes, well, the time is here. Corey is here, too. We're not afraid of anything. We'll tell you and tell the world we've had an infraction and for birth hole. And it's, nobody's doing anything. And we're in the dark. But we're standing up and we're together. In this community, all you have to do is get together, tell your community members here, you're going to the council, you're standing up, and you're not gonna allow them to have these infractions occur. Regardless of the council outcome, whoever's elected. Now, my question to you is a short one. Since we're a small tribe, it's for both of you. We're a small tribe, and as the, the uh, time goes on into the election, all you hear is negative comments about each other so that the other one can win. We've seen this all the time. We've got to stand together. I want to know if you're going to be positive uh, to the end of this election among each other. Are you going to help support each other, even the winner?